so with the cardboard, the mycelium really like the the sugars and stuff that are used to bind all the paper material together. Yeah, the glues, the glues have sugars, they have carbon-based sugars in them that uh, the mushrooms like to eat. So when we expose these, when we expose the corrugated side of this cardboard and we wet it, the mycelium will actually run in these little grooves. Oh, it's a little highway. <laughs> so it's a, uh, It's what we call a practically free resource. Practically free resources are resources that can be gathered at little or no cost. Uh, cardboard is a practically free resource. Fresh yellow oat straw is another one. Burlap sacks. Used coffee grounds. Pallets. Rough wood shipping containers. Old clothes. These are practically free resources that can be recycled. Uh, with mushrooms and plants, and instead of going into the landfill, they can be composted and turned into soil. Plus, they also provide medicinal gourmet mushrooms.